Hey guys, and welcome back to my newly added YouTube channel. So, if you saw my previous video, it was me explaining why I'm making the move to YouTube from Facebook. Um, that was because Facebook deactivated my business page and I'm going to make lemonade out of lemons. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I thought since I am making the move, I might as well start making some videos making jewelry to show you guys. So today we will be doing, um, uh, making breast milk jewelry. Yes! And it's going to go in this ring setting. Really cute. Can you see all the d accents on the band? So this is what we're going to be making today. And let's get started. So we're just going to start by cleaning um, our little grinder that we're going to crush the breast milk up with. And so this breast milk is already previously preserved. I do that um, once a week. So this has actually been hardening and um, preserving, getting harder and turns to like a chalk-like consistency. And so I'm just crushing some of this off in here. And then I do have leftover, so I'm going to save that. And I always put it, and I am at the store right now, so if someone comes in and I have to pause the video, um, that's why. So they always go in little Ziploc bags, fold it up just like this. And then I get a marker and I'm just going to write, usually if it's, this one is a walk-in order, but usually I write um, the order number if it was an online order. So I'm just going to write their name on this and it will get stored away. Um, it gets another label put on it with a sticky label so this doesn't rub off. And then it gets stored away alphabetically. If you ever want to order more, um, I just pull your name and then I don't have to re-preserve it or anything. So it cuts that wait time in half. So let's get started grinding this up. We're just going to crush it up into a fine powder. A little tiny popsicle stick which is the cutest Get all of it off of here we don't want to waste any and if I'm constantly looking over my phone it's because I'm checking to see if customers are pulling up I don't want to look like a crazy person talking to myself and someone walk in so I'm just scraping all this to the side. Okay. So we're just gonna dump it in our little cup. And then now we're gonna add our hardener, which I cannot show on camera because, um, can't give away all the secrets. So I'm just gonna squirt some hardener in here. We don't need much because this is only for one ring. Add a chemical to it. Let's see. And we're gonna give it a mix in and we're gonna make a stone out of it. So I'm mixing it into my hardener. You gotta make sure it's very mixed so there's not like chunks of any kind. And they're actually wanting to add diamond dust to this so we'll 
add some diamond dust to it at this stage as well. Okay. So this is what we have so far. Just some liquid hardener with our powdered breast milk. So now I'm going to add some diamond dust, which is very messy so it stays all the way over here. Because if I am working on other pieces, it gets everywhere. So we're just going to mix this in and they're also adding um, emerald green fleck for a birthstone. So we're actually going to hand place that, we're not going to mix it in here. Just because when you do mix it with the breast milk like in this and then I make a stone out of it that stone will actually look green most times um, versus hand placing the fleck exactly where I want it and there's not too much to actually tint the breast milk so this is what we have right now I don't know if you can see that diamond dust how it makes it shimmer so beautiful oh my face is just so this is ready, we're going to get my mold, most, um, most rings I have a mold for, which really makes my job a lot easier, but then some rings, a lot of the pear shaped rings, I have to actually shape the stone myself, so let's see, this is about 10 millimeters, and so is this, so we know what mold we need. Can you see it? Let me get my emerald green flex. So this is the emerald green flex that I use and actually when you turn them, which is hard to see with this light, it actually has some purple tints to it as well. So I'm just going to dump a few of these out. That should be plenty. I don't know if y'all can see how many I just did. Just a little bit. Put those up. Now I'm just going to do a really thin coat on the bottom. Get a toothpick, spread it out. And then I just want these emerald green flecks to kind of peek through the breast milk. I don't want it to overpower. So I'm just gonna push them down like this and then if I feel like it's not enough I can always add more to the clear coat when I if it needs a clear coat okay so I'm gonna pop this to cure for just a second so when we pour the rest of the breast milk in it doesn't move around those flecks I really don't want that to happen I love diamond dust. It's like the prettiest shimmer, I think. Because it doesn't take away too much from the breast milk. If anything, it brightens it just a tiny bit, which I think is beautiful. Okay, so we have it in our mold. We're gonna pop it in there for about a minute and then we'll set it in our ring. Be right back. So while that is curing, our stone, um, I am going to do a, I have extra milk in here that I hate to waste. So we're just going to put some in a heart. Just a little heart mold. Give it a good mix in. A little bit more don't want to do all of it especially when you haven't seen your stone for the ring just in case you don't like how it turns out you can make another one but we'll do that yeah I'm so excited about this ring I actually have never used this ring setting before I love the detail it's 
kind of like floral antique detail on the side, but I'm really excited about it. Okay, we'll give those a few more seconds and we'll pull them out. Okay, so I just pulled it out. It's been about a minute and a half. So we're gonna pop it out. We're gonna be really careful with it. See, I personally don't like how this looks, so I'm actually going to make another one. That's a good thing about saving some and also making a little bit extra than you might have needed. Just cause I'm really particular with how I like it. If there's like a tiny air bubble, um, they drive me nuts. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another one just for my own sanity because that other one had a tiny little air bubble that I will try and show you, but might not be able to pick up on the camera. So, just gonna pop these little pieces in here. this and then put some extra in here okay we're gonna put this in here to cure For another couple minutes and I'll show you what I didn't like about this one for one I didn't like how the emerald green flecks weren't as noticeable this helps not at all <laughs> but also which you're probably not gonna be able to see there's like a little air bubble in there that I'm not fond of but to show you what this one would have looked like in this ring which is still really cute but can do better <laughs> um yeah I just don't like how the green flecks don't pop as much as I wanted to so we're gonna redo it and we're gonna pop this one out and wait for this one to cure so I'll be right back okay we're gonna pull this stone out Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah, that's a lot better. Let's see. So this is what it looks like now. Super blurry, I know, but a lot cuter debating on adding one more little fleck yeah I'm gonna make one more stone just because there's one tiny little thing like all these are big pieces of green I want some small pieces I'm going to dump them in a cup then I can dump them back so let's see right here I know y'all probably think I'm crazy for redoing this so many times, but I want it to be perfect. Someone pull, is pulling up.
I just heard a beep. I think someone's coming. BRB. Okay, so right now we're just adding some little green flecks. Going in to cook. And so this is a little heart that we made. Just a little something extra to throw in the order. He's in here. So we've made two stones so far and none of them made the cut. With this is with I can't talk. This is totally normal um to make a couple stones and me not like them. <laughs> I do this quite a bit. Um but sometimes I'll even put an extra one maybe in the baggie. So if anything happens down the road, maybe they don't take care of it and the stone changes colors, I can always go back and check the stone that I put in here. Um, and I'll know if it was my preservation didn't work or if maybe they treated it poorly or maybe it was exposed to a chemical it shouldn't have been exposed to like laundry detergent, um, dish soap, stuff like that. So I know really what to pinpoint the cause of the issue was. So it is a good reason, you know, to save these extra little stones. So I'm just give it a few more minutes and we'll check it in just a second okay this one's ready we're gonna pull it out and unmold it okay yeah i like this one a lot this one's our winner you can see all the little green flecks everywhere so yes i love that so we're gonna put in our ring and then we're finished we're gonna put it in the ring No big deal. This is just some glue that needs to be cleaned. Okay. So we're just going to pop some glue in here, which this ring does have prongs that hold it in place. But just in case, um, just in case, you know, the prongs ever come loose or they get snagged on something, I like to put glue down. All right, we're gonna put this in here, just like that, give it a good press down. Okay, and so now we're just gonna close these little prongs that stick up. We're just gonna press it over it with this tool. and we're gonna be done. And um, a I don't know if he's a husband or a fiance or just boyfriend, but he actually came into my store and ordered this as a surprise for his significant other, which I love when guys do that or anyone, you know, does a surprise, but especially men. A lot of the times men don't get breastfeeding, you know, they don't understand what the big deal is or maybe they're not supportive. Not all men, but you know, there's always a handful of people. I'll even throw my brothers under the bus. <laughs> when I breastfed my boys, they're always like, oh, cover up. Like they just didn't understand the significance to, you know, moms, especially new moms. Um, so to see like a man come in here and want to do this order, you know, his wife or a girlfriend, something, it's 
really special and I always give them so much props for doing that. Okay, this is completely finished and I'm obsessed with it. I'll post a picture too in just a second so you can really see it. Um, but yeah, so cute. So, so, so cute. Ta-da! So I know you can't see it on here, but I'll post a picture right here so you can see it up close and personal. And I wish you could see it in person because it's just so beautiful. <laughs> okay, but that's all for today's video. And I know I'm wearing the same outfit I was in my previous video, but um, this is my first day with my YouTube channel. So I thought, what better time than to post a tutorial on how to make breast milk jewelry. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and I can't wait to see you on my next video. Bye.